Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to share one of the best interview questions on static time analysis. And this question was recently asked from one of our channel members in one of the interview. His name is Rohit. He shared this interview question with me so that I can share it with others. Thank you Rohit for your contribution in this channel. And now without wasting much time, let us get started and see what is this interesting question. Friends, the challenge is given on your screen. Here you have to identify what strategy will be applied to meet the timing for the following circuit. And this circuit has to work at clock frequency of 150 megahertz. Here Y is output, A, B, C, D are four inputs and expression of Y is equal to A into B plus C into D. But this is not a combination logic. Here flip flops are used. And for simplicity, I have considered setup, hold, and propagation delay of all the flip flops used here equal to 1 nanosecond. As the clock frequency is 150 megahertz, so its period will be approximately 6.6 .6 nanosecond. These two are the multipliers. This is the summation. Now, the first question from all of you is without applying any strategy, without altering this design, can you tell me what can be the maximum? operating frequency of this design can this design work at 150 megahertz without making any change now you can pause my video here try to make your calculations whatever your calculation is please write it down in the comment section so that we can discuss it there otherwise i am going to reveal its answers friends now let us try to calculate the maximum operational frequency of design without making any change. So the formula here is we have to calculate T minimum, which is equal to TCQ plus TCL plus T setup. So here in this design, there exists four flip-flop to flip-flop path. So first one is from A to the second flip-flop. Second is B to second flip-flop. This is C to this flip-flop and D to the input of this flip flop so there are four paths but all the paths include equal combination delay so all the paths has equal delay any of the path you can consider as a critical path for calculation of t minimum so let us consider a to this flip flop as a critical path for the calculation of t minimum now the formula to calculate t minimum is equal to tcq plus tcl plus t setup i have discussed this formula multiple times in my previous videos and I have created a dedicated animated video where I explained how this T minimum is equal to TCQ plus TCL plus T setup. I explained it very well. So you can go through that video. I will give the link of that video in the description section. Now, here I assume that you already know this formula. So T minimum is equal to TCQ, TCQ of the throwing flip flop. So this flip flop, I, I already told you I am considering one nanosecond TCQ for simplicity so tcq will be equal to 1 nanosecond for this flip flop now there are two combination logic path delays 5 nanosecond for multiplier 5 nanosecond for this summation so 5 plus 5 plus t setup of capturing flip flop so this is 1 nanosecond so t minimum is equal to 12 nanosecond friends here the minimum period of operation is 12 nanosecond we cannot reduce the time period further 12 is a minimum time period and from here very easily we can calculate the maximum operational frequency maximum operational frequency is equal to 1 by t minimum so which is 1 by 12 nanosecond so f max will be equal to 83.3 megahertz but our target is 150 megahertz so answer to your first question is it cannot work at 150 megahertz and it can only work up to 83.3 megahertz now friends my next question that is the crux of this video how will you make this circuit to work at 150 megahertz what strategy will you will apply friends i'm keeping this question unanswered in this video just to avoid the length of this video and other reason is i want to know your views on this problem statement you can pause my video here 
try to think of its answer if something comes to your mind please write it down in the comment section actually the similar type of problem that i already have covered in advanced study time analysis videos you can go through them and then obviously answer will come to your mind with this friends i am going to end this video and i hope that this will be quite informative for all of you if you also like this problem statement please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section and in future also we are going to give you many such problem statements so to be aligned with our channel don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching and your time